What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Okay, that did it. Where's my sniper rifle? Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party. Yeah, you and what army? Besides that one. Oh, come on. Roast a whole pig Whoa, and that fireman just bank hard to starboard. So, Ashley, you much of a partier in your younger days? Younger days? <laughs> They'll never know what hit them. Hang on, wait. <laughs> I was saying how good it is to see everyone again. Is that true? Shepard, you gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? <laughs> Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned the rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us, and a chance to rest. That is a great idea. <laughs> that reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Every chance I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. I'm going to remember that. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni. And they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the guest, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Back when I thought he was good. Stars looking good. <laughs> Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? 
I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. You How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. You're Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Wow, this is quite the apartment. get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. Why didn't I think that? So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive y'all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. <laughs> Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Maybe we can work in some one-on-one -on -one time later. I'll have to check my schedule. Also, Dr. Chuckles apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Forget I said anything. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the day. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. Even long ago, your kind was never known for its intel. I mean restraint. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. <laughs> you guys are the best. I, I need another one of these. Uh, anyone else? I love you guys. So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. It's a good question. No, it isn't. <laughs> Baby Pie Jack here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. <laughs> the only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. I, ah, weapon up to I got head lice like bigger than you, oh, Junior. This talk does not prove anything. Only one way to settle this. Now the party's starting. <clears throat> Another time, guys. No, really. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting ah. good. Yeah, ah. you got lucky. You're absolutely right. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. <laughs> Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. <laughs> 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. Love it. What is the point? I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. 
Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Okay, okay. okay. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. I need another one of these. Uh, anyone else? I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there, but... Okay, I admit. When I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. You're a wild man! Shepard? Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? Pin the hammer, this. Get out before I strangle you. <laughs> Hell yes, I'm having another. But you have no plans after Edie? Someone more human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. This is unexpected. And fun. More Commander? music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? <laughs> now that's a tasty shot! Shut up! They hit harder than you think. Seriously? <laughs> Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I want to check on a few things before we change things up. Certainly, Commander. Backwards and upside down. Careful with that stuff. It'll knock you out. Wait, wait, wait. Harvin just bank hard to starboard? Hey, who's starboard? Commander. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I'd rather things didn't get too crazy. Excellent decision. Please give me a moment to prepare appetizers. That's it. Drink! I'm drinking! But it's not a drinking game. <laughs> Afraid to lose? I'll have another. Nothing to do with fear. I know I'll lose. Logic is for Solarians. The great Erdnot Rex is back down from the challenge. I never accepted the damp. <laughs> Fine. Drink. Ha! Fair warning, Grunt. My first liver dried up years ago on account of this stuff. I'm sure both of yours are still pink and squeaky, <laughs> like baby piejacks. Quit stalling, old man. Drink. 
Shepard. Grant. Shepard. Rex. Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex. Grant. Shepard. 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 Grant. Shepard. Rex. Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex. Grant. Shepard. My family makes wine. Shepard. Shepard. Not the way Shepard. Grant. Shepard. Rex. Commander Shepard. That's how it happened. Shepard. Protheans can read the smallest details of our environment. I have no idea. Tattooed human, I would like to touch you. <laughs> I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. You then, shuttle pilot. How about you? No um, why is Javik getting all touchy-feely? Hey, collector-looking asshole. Maybe go touch yourself. That does not happen until the end of the party. <laughs> Commander! Javik? Apologies. I have been drinking the provided drinks. <laughs> sure. Um, you might want to tap the brakes a little. Everyone having a good time? Will there be food available soon? <laughs> You're hungry, Edie? No. However, my research suggests that serving intoxicants without nourishment is considered unwise. I, would I could eat. In my cycle, we had food. <laughs> Many of them. Varieties. You feeling okay? I am Protheus. I never feel okay. So this drink is changing that. Hmm. Know what I could go for? Fish and chips. Greasy, salty, crispy, flaky, melt in your mouth. Yes, that. Let's get that. Shall I arrange some fish and chips, Shepard? Steve, is that your favorite? Actually, I'm a dessert guy. My aunt used to make this chocolate lava bomb cake. When I first escaped from Cerberus, I found these chocolate chip cookies at a store. <sighs> Ripped through the whole damn thing. Nothing in this cycle compares to the food of my people. Maybe you should get cooking then, Javik. Most of our ingredients are extinct. Except Krogan. Sorry. Dirty. Larry and Corey. Is there any we could spare? I hope you don't feel left out, Edie. Do not worry. I've been employing a socialization protocol feature that came with this unit. It is called Smile and Nod. Okay. I'll see you about arranging more food then. You know, forget food. This bar is impressive. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what we can come up with. Beverages. More would be preferable to not. Sure, help yourself to the bar, but I'd steer clear of the creme de menthe if I were you. Oh my God, you ain't kidding. <laughs> that stuff will make you sicker than pure wrinkle. Whew, trust me. Shit, it is disgusting. I'm fun. So, talking about food <laughs> at a party, like, for fun. Bored. Is there a place I can go light something on fire? Fireplace is right there. Nah, it's not the same. Nice party. And relax a bit yourself, okay? We'll see. <laughs> so, talking about food at a party, like, for fun. Did you really just say that? This place is huge. <laughs> sure. much bigger, so they upgraded the ventilation system. More of a... Oh, 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 <laughs> That's actually what it sounds like. There is a lot more space now. But if you move further up, it's more of a... <laughs> <laughs> a what? You have to imagine my arms are the wings. <laughs> of course. 
Over by the med bay. Exactly. What are you guys talking about? Tally was acting out the differences between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting? I may have recorded it. And that recording may already have six million extra net hits and a fan site. You better hope I never find you. Yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. Does that make it better or worse? The SR1 was a decent ship, but the SR2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR2 made a good ship better. The original Normandy was developed by the Turian Council and the Alliance. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now without it. The SR2's been through a lot, and it will see us through a lot more. I wouldn't change my name for just any ship. I thought the Admiralty Board changed your name. Yes, but in hindsight, I might have considered it. You know what I Do you miss the Normandy? I'm not sentimental, but sometimes I do. A lot has changed. Some things have changed, but there are still familiar faces. Me, Shepard, Joker, Edie. Come on, Edie even having a face. That's a pretty big change. Okay, that part's different. I heard the footfall, and I knew that it was you, Shepard. Not enjoying the party, Samara? Oh, yes, Shepard, I am. Although not in the same way as the others, perhaps. Are you worried about me? Don't be. I only stepped away for a moment to use the restroom, and then I found this quiet corner. Reflecting on one's place in the universe while a party rages within reach can feel oddly self-affirming. Meditating isn't often considered party behavior. Perhaps. I don't attend many parties, to be honest. Then I'm flattered. Your influence in my life causes me to be drawn to you, no doubt. Know that as long as I am able, I will come to you whenever you call. Always. Thank you. Now get back out. Edie said you found her voice attractive. Well, actually, she said the word you used was like, Ugh! or something. Well, uh, I that was when I thought she was a VI. Anyway, you'd just better treat her right. You know, Moreau. when she oh, did. Oh, oh, no. Somebody jealous? Be worse. I think you had a better shot when she looked like a holographic chess piece trainer. I wouldn't have said chess piece precisely. But listen, the point is, you hate AIs. You had to overcome all your hang-ups, whereas I was totally fine with AIs to begin with. You know, you're awfully pissy about this, considering you're sleeping with Shepard now. I fail to see how that's in any way relevant. Fuck yeah, you're up for it. Wait, are you two arguing over Edie? No! Probably not. Okay, you know she smashed my head against the side of a shuttle? I know! Twice! I heard it from Liara! That was like forever ago. Plus, it wasn't Edie back then. It's really unfair of you to even bring it up. Yeah, yeah what the hell was I thinking? Probably just brain damage making me touchy. Apology accepted. You know, it's not healthy to just bottle these things up. <laughs> the hell is up? Still creepy, wait, wait, Kasumi. Wait. You know, trainer, you got me. I do recall running into you once or twice in the shower. 
Look, Shepard, there's no easy way to say this, which is why it's fortunate I'm pretty hammered right now. Trainer has a thing for robots. Wanker. I mean, the tech background, being all in the Edie's voice. Just think about it. That's good. I'm gonna kill you later, just so we're clear. And unfortunately, Shepard, you're what, 30% cybernetics since Cerberus brought you back? That's probably enough for her. Well, I for one am relieved. <laughs> Is it really a full 30%? Mm. And a little creeped out. Just bear in mind, she's probably gonna check to see whether your back lights up during sex. So, there's reach around action. It's, you know, she's looking for your cyborg parts. Oh, it doesn't. Hey, <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll... The kids are good. Kicking ass. Sight lines aren't bad. Uh, blind spot, they uh, could set up here. But if they enter through that way... Mm -hmm. Too exposed if I block off that window. Now there's an idea. Garrus, what are you doing? Just checking the place out, Shepard. Can't be too careful. Don't get me wrong, this is, uh, this is a nice apartment. Nice to see you. But? Well, for starters, too many windows. And they're too big. Makes it easy for someone to track your movements. Why don't you relax and enjoy the party? The apartment's fine. Fine? You just had your clone try to kill you. Suppose tomorrow, Liara's evil clone comes after you. Or Joker. All right. Have fun. <laughs> Shepard, you moved the Normandy's main battery into here, and I think I'm home. No point in that. Hey, no touching, asshole. I mean no harm, tattooed human. I have read you. You don't need to read me. Just ask, and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Yes, this is what I have read. Yes, I'll have another one, thanks. Is this real leather? It feels like real leather. How about that one? On the arm there? Got that taking some knives off a gang of drunk Batarians. They figured they could stop me from collecting the bounty on their boss. Idiots. So, this one's from two Krogan that had a problem with me running Arlac Company. They learned to live with it. Turns out only one of them had to. <laughs> You're all right, grunt. That must be an incredible story. <laughs> I knew Joker before you did. I knew nothing could beat the SR2. At least for now. For now? Well, yeah. Let's say one day I get my own ship. That ship will kick some serious ass. I thought about it. <laughs> Shepard? Yeah. Oh, I really need to avoid dairy. Shit, I had no idea you were coming. Do you require anything further? People were talking about mixing drinks. Why don't you join Edie at the bar? Certainly, Commander. My knack for precise measurements may prove useful. Really? Doesn't have to be fancy. Shepard specifically requested more drinks. Are you certain you were up to the challenge? Absolutely. Really? Doesn't have to be fancy. Trust me, Edie. I worked at a bar to pay for university. I thought you had a full scholarship. <laughs> the scholarship didn't cover spa sessions and beauty supplies. Or really expensive toothbrushes. Exactly. I might not know dancing or crazy sums, but fancy drinks are right in my wheelhouse. Oh, just wanted something to drink. Everybody 
okay? Specialist trainer is preparing drinks. I had no idea you knew how. Try me. How about a quad kicker? Spiced rum, bourbon, ginger ale, no curry powder, I'm allergic. I read about something called a tasty tankard. Irish cream, coconut rum, iced chocolate, and butterscotch schnapps, if Shepard has it. Ever hear of a full biotic kick? Ha! <laughs> Who hasn't? Bourbon, Tuchanka dry, twist of orange, and ginger beer to fill. Impressive. I almost wish I could experience intoxication. Well, let me make you something. Maybe a mix of fruit juice, vodka, cognac, white wine, and blue thessia. Interesting. So. Now, if you'll excuse me, Liara needs a shadow brocatini, no lime. Garrus asked for a dextro heat sink. Someone named Kasumi wants something called a memory stealer. Jack asked for a mix of vodka, whiskey, bourbon, and any energy drink I can find. Miranda is unhappy because her glass of perfection calls for strawberry liqueur, which we don't have. And Tali just wants anything she can drink through a straw. Glad to see you have things well in hand. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody's punched me yet. Not that I'd recommend it. I gotta know. What are you doing? Hmm. Uh, nothing. Just, uh, admiring the polish on this glass. It's not clean enough for you? Oh, it's just, well, one man's decorative glass wall fixture is another man's explosive glass wall fixture. Explosive? Microfilaments, Shepard. Tiny strips of explosives laid across the glass in a grid. It's your first line of defense. When an intruder enters, hit the switch and boom! They're shredded to pieces. Uh-huh. Trust me, if I had this back on Omega in my Archangel days, there'd be even more dead mercs. If you say so. Just try not to scratch the finish. Sally, you okay? Yeah. You want to see my tattoo? I don't think you have a tattoo, Tally. It's a hologram. Omni tattoo. Omni tat. Omni two. <laughs> Under the suit. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You wanna know? It's a pretty bird made of rainbows. It is flying out of the eye hole of a skull, being held in the mouth of a thresher maw with a naked woman holding a sword on its back. We don't get it. You're sure you okay, Tally? Next time you clean it, you know, Shepard, there's a lot of possibilities in that kitchen. Exploding ovens, exploding refrigerators. Hell, maybe the whole kitchen could just explode. <laughs> You're bluffing. Don't be so sure. I got a pretty good poker face. I can tell when someone is hiding something from me. Right. Anyway, now we put our cards on the table. It is foolish to reveal secrets to the enemy. It's part of the game, and we're not enemies. 
Hey, you want me to deal you in on the next one? I bet you'd be good at this. No. See, that right there. Perfect poker face. What are you talking about? You're still doing it. Commander, can you believe Doc's never played poker? How are the lessons going? The Asari still refuses to take risks. Victory does not come without cost. You're not even playing. Doc's not much of a gambler. Be glad we are not participating in one of the games from my cycle. You would all lose horribly. Aw, oh, be nice to Liara. You're going to have your hands full with me anyway. Adios. How long have you been there? Well, my willingness to gamble aside, this has been a wonderful evening, Shepard. Glad you guys are having fun. <laughs> it's nice to see people relax and let their guards down. I'll try not to take advantage. Time spent being idle. Do you fear the crew will grow soft, Commander? I think everyone could use the break. This from the Asari who buries herself in studying Protheans day and night. Good to know bickering like an old married couple has not changed since your cycle. Enjoy your game, guys. And I'd keep an eye on Liara if I were you. Give me a few more rounds and you might not have anything left to wager. Now this game is getting more interesting. And you're welcome. Can I get another in a bigger cup? Maybe one of the flower pots? It, um, uh, might take a while to get that many ingredients. Aww. So what's that drink you gave me? The frozen pie jack? Hey, the next one's for me. She promised. Oh, I shouldn't tell. Trade secret. We would be extremely grateful. Oh, fine. You usually make a frozen pie jack for the loud customers. Every few hours, you empty your spill pad into a martini glass and add some ice, et voila. That's what I just drank? What was in there? Damned if I know. It's best not to look. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Seriously, though, I called the next one. Good to see the old gang again. Liara's looking good. I mean, <laughs> you know. I haven't fallen down yet. Time to step this up. I'll give that. You're a great pilot. The best, but go on. All I'm saying is that when it comes to shuttles, I got your beat. I think you said so yourself. Ooh, shuttles. Only slightly less cool than dropping from the Normandy into Mako. And I bet you couldn't handle the Normandy. <laughs> Didn't you get the first one blown up? That's what I meant. <laughs> so the first Normandy kind of evaporated. It was unfortunate, but Shepard did get a better ship out of the deal. I wouldn't fight myself for another ship. Or ever again. No more clones. Come on, fighting a clone can't be worse than the Collector base. That was some messed up shit. That place still gives me nightmares. I'm gonna go. Yeah, not something I wish to repeat. I'm glad I wasn't around for that one. We must never fear the fight against evil. And I had faith that Shepard would see us through. That ability to triumph despite impossible odds is exactly why Shepard was brought back. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I saved the Normandy single-handed? Yeah, right. That's true. For sure. I was there. I'll vouch for him. Collectors boarded the Normandy. I only had a minute to come up with something to take him down. So you unshackled an AI. 
Always a good plan. I don't hear anyone complaining about Edie now. Yes, we're all glad she didn't turn out to be an evil robot. <laughs> Weren't you complaining earlier about how she smashed her face in? We're losing focus. Edie wasn't a robot back then. And when the collectors took over, she was still shackled. So it was me, saving the Normandy by myself. Single-handed. Yes, you did. Good man. <laughs> this is completely what I needed. Just hanging out. No crazy stuff. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. Who's getting the next round? My family makes wine. I know what I'm talking about. Didn't see that coming. That's I'd heard the story. It just gunks up the filters. Yes, definitely you should. So, what games did you play in your cycle? Good question. You don't exactly strike me as Mr. Playful. There was one game. It has no name in your language. Three teams met in the arena. Their strength, agility, loyalty. All were tested. The winners were honored. Well, those that lost... You didn't, uh, sacrifice the losers, did you? Your cycle allows them to live? Um, well... <laughs> I will never tire of tricking the primitives. That is a game I enjoy playing. Shepard. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarith. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tujanka. And Tujanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. What? What happened? Oh, fuck up! Hey, guys. Please, talking shop? No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot? That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? <laughs> Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. Yes. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded him? Ha! Ah. And maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done.
What do you think, Samara? You enjoying the fun? Yes. Perhaps not with as much ferocity as other members of the team. If it gets to be too much, don't just disappear. Promise? I promise. and Academy students. Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. <sighs> You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Or test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hear? Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. You're fun to hate. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh, my God. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you, and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me, too. No ice. Jack. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find that extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> All right. I can live with that. Don't give me that look. What look? That I wanted to watch Joker break his hands off at the shooting range look. It's not cool to mess with people because they've got limitations, you know? Oh, next you'll be going on about how the strong aren't supposed to eat the weak. Uh, speaking as the weak, yes. But everybody's weaker than me. What am I supposed to do for lunch? Three words. Okay. Thresher, Ma, Jerry. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say exactly. is... You know what I'm talking about. I mean... Check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Yep. Check me out. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by That's looking. It. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? 
Come in. Just listen. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That, no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> oh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay, more drinks, snacks, help yourselves. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Evie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find someone else to be? No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. Oh, really? Oh, shut up. I haven't even met you yet. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Oh, wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair's fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. Oh, we are going to talk later. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. Let's remember that one for later, actually. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. 
so I don't die. Lando is pretty awesome. Damn, this is nice. <laughs> We're not gonna hug or anything, are we? You wish. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. <laughs> to be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Help, wow. Kind of makes me tear up a little. Kind of makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. Do you know how many stabilization programs my suit is running to keep me upright right now? <laughs> how many? That wasn't rhetorical. My screen is really blurry. <laughs> You're adorable, Tally. If I were a little drunker and knew how to unzip that suit. <laughs> I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Atari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Captain on deck! Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it with the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> Good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. events like this it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones would you dance with me it's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen Edie I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extra net video okay that's cheating <laughs> so he won't dance with you huh hello Shepard he will not well I will <laughs> Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. 
No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Love the views here. I hear you. Five by five. <laughs> Krogan dances usually involve more headbutts and blood and no actual dancing. <laughs> Trevor! So here's where the party's at. Now it is. Good to see you, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, hey, Javik? Am I right? Not even remotely. <laughs> Knew it. Well, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Sure. Absolutely. I'll look for you later then, maybe. I got a piss. <laughs>